Hey guys, in this video, I want to quickly show you a couple ways that you can use SDN's Lizzie MCAT calculator to determine what MCAT score you need to get into the medical schools that you want to go to. To start off, go to schools.studentdoctor.net, and then from here, you can search for medical schools that you want to go to. For instance, if I'm interested in going to Texas schools, I can generate a list of all the schools in Texas, and then look for the ones that I want to go to. If I want to go to El Paso, I can click on this school for more information, and then scroll down to their Lizzie M score. The Lizzie M score is determined based on the people who get accepted to that medical school and their average MCAT and their average GPA. From here, I want to start generating a list of the schools that I want to go to and their Lizzie M score. So I'll go ahead and add El Paso to this list. And once you have a list of about five or more medical schools, you're ready for the next part of this process. Head over to schools.studentdoctor.net slash Lizzie M underscore score. Here, you can input your data and see how it stacks up against the schools that you want to go to. For instance, let's say my diagnostic MCAT score or a previous MCAT score attempt was a 495. And let's say that my GPA is about a 3.7. Next, select your race. And now it should generate a percent chance of you being accepted to one medical school. And it looks like my chances are not great. But let's take a look at how my Lizzie M score of 59 stacks up against the medical schools that I want to attend. It looks like it's much lower than the schools that are on my list. So I should probably aim for a higher MCAT score than a 495. If your MCAT score is still too low, continue to adjust it until it looks like it's in a safe range to be accepted to some of the medical schools that you want to go to. It looks like if I adjust it up to a 510, that's going to put me in a decent range to be accepted to either El Paso or University of Utah but not quite for the medical schools that are higher up on my list. So if I'm okay with being accepted to these two schools that are lower on my list, I might be satisfied with increasing my score up to a 510. And that is a much more realistic increase than trying to go all the way up to a 520. Another awesome feature about the Lizzie M calculator is that it shows you how you stack up against the people in your demographic category. For instance, with a 510, I'm in the 65th percentile for my category. And it even shows me that on this graph. You want to try and be as far to the right of this bell curve as possible, but you also need to be realistic about what you can achieve. From here, I want to show you the second way that you can use Lizzie M score to help you know if your MCAT score is right for the schools that you want to go to. Click on this Generate List button at the bottom of this page, and it will create a list for you of all the schools that you might want to go to. And if you look at this list, and you notice that you know, the schools that are in here that are below your Lizzie M score are the kind of schools that you'd love to go to, then your MCAT score is probably in the right place for you. But if you look at this list and you notice that all the schools that have Lizzie M scores that are lower than yours are not the schools that you want to go to, you might want to continue to adjust your MCAT score to be a little bit higher. I hope this video gave you a clear idea of what MCAT score you need. And if you liked the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, be sure to head over to MCATSelfPrep.com and enroll in our free MCAT prep course. If you really want to maximize your MCAT score, visit my tutoring profile page to request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.